Okay, guys. Um, this time, <coughs> sorry about this. I'm going to explain how to update the Banggood multi protocol, the STM32 multi protocol module from Banggood <coughs> using the radio with ER Scanner X itself. So, <coughs> I'm sorry about this, <coughs> but in bad throat today. Um, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna flash the latest ER Skyline X test version, <coughs> which is the E2, I think, uh, provisional uh, revision 2 to 1 E2, something like this. So just go to the ER Skyline X test versions um, thread and download the latest one. <coughs> flash it to your radio that's the very first thing to do then <coughs> we need to we need to flash a bootloader to the multi protocol module and for that we will use a <coughs> FTDI adapter and uh, <coughs> we have to put this jumper here I don't know if you can see it let me see uh, this is not focusing there's a jumper here <coughs> it's the boot zero jumper on the multi protocol uh, module this here USB for me forget it this doesn't work for me so <coughs> anyway flashing with the radio will be much better so what we're gonna do first and after you update your radio <coughs> we will need to download the, this repo here from the files from uh, Midlix multi protocol module. This is the address. Let me see if I can focus the phone. Uh, the address, the, this will be also in the, in the video's description. So <clears throat> you can just click on it and go to this page. So now what we have here, we go to the <clears throat> see all these boards, multi protocol, blah, blah blah. Basically, what you're gonna do, you're gonna download everything. So, see here, clone, click on clone or download, and select download zip. It will download the zip file with everything. So, <clears throat> it will look like this. So, we go to the to folder where you download this, and here's the zip file. Just click extract here, and we extract this file here. So, and you get a folder with all these little folders and files inside. <coughs> oh, this is bad. Sorry, guys. I'll do my best not to cough. So, you got um, some folders, as I said, some docs, some boards for designing the, your own PCB. Uh, here you got the bootloader. If you want to build a bootloader yourself with the Arduin IDE, <clears throat> or you can also just use with this already compiled bootloader file, which is what we're going to use on this video. Much easier. And you can use this one because this is good for all the STM modules. So, and then we will also work on the multi protocol and we're going to compile it <clears throat> and flash it. So, first things first, we're going to uh, flash this bootloader to the multi-protocol module because <coughs> it with this bootloader then you is that what's going to make the radio be able to flash your or make gonna make the module be able to be flashed by the radio make the multi model module <laughs> God, to be able to be flashed by this radio <clears throat> with ERS kind and X. Sorry guys, not my day today. Anyway, first we have to put the module in, um, what do you call this, in flashing mode or whatever you want to call it. So I will first, <clears throat> the bootloader jump, the boot jumper is already there. The FTDI is already correctly connected to the module on the spins over there. 
so this is ground rx white rx from the fdi goes to tx and the tx from the fdi goes to the rx <clears throat> so we connect the usb first connect the adapter and then turn the radio on i'll try to do this with the phone to power the module power the module here <clears throat> next we will open a very nice tool that is called we should have installed if you follow the multi-protocol instructions uh, that you found on the multi-protocol github page you already know we already you will already already have this this um tool installed in your computer so is a demonstrator GUI. So, <clears throat> if all is fine, we can just select the COM port here, which in my case is COM19. Let's see if it detects the chip. It did detect the chip. Chip is readable. Click next. <clears throat> we are installing the. We are flashing the bootloader now using this tool click next download to device <coughs> navigate to the um, the file you just to the file uh, wait a minute. the file we downloaded so stm boot bin binary <clears throat> select this here down here so we can get the bin file bin extension and it is, it is just click on it click open and next it should flash the bootloader to the module Here we go It's complete. Close this program. Turn radio off. If I can find the bloody button. <laughs> Why is this thing? Okay, it's difficult with one in one hand. <clears throat> Disconnect the adapter. Disconnect the FTDI. Remove the little jumper. This is a little jumper there. <clears throat> okay. And now, what we have to do? Now we have to compile. Now we have to compile the multi protocol file. Multi protocol code, sorry. So we just go here. Always, I can see the thing here, of course. <laughs> ah, that's up Arduino, Arduino, you know. Click on Arduino. I think I should have clicked on multi protocol, but I think this will do it as well. I should have clicked on. Should be. Multi protocol, you know. That's why you should click to open the audio again. <clears throat> to open the Arduino the, with the compile the code. Okay. Now we go to the configuration file, uh, which is config h. Don't know if you can see all this thing. I'm going to do my best. We do all the configurations for your module. Well, everything you want to configure, the right, com right um, uh, channel, channel order, whatever you want to do. But make sure that this option here, check for bootloader, is is defined. So it doesn't have this little, these two little lines behind it. So it's defined. It's not commented. Okay. <clears throat> this is important. Okay. Now. Assuming that all is uh, that you made 
all the settings I mean this the enable telemetry or whatever want to do invert serial or not invert serial we go to the tools menu and make sure you have STM32 F103 C series selected variant is the 128 K flash variant uh, chip selected and now upload method you're going to put write STM32 Duino bootloader so to compile the code for uploading with the radio you will have to select the STM32 Duino bootloader right now we go to the sketch folder and <clears throat> select export compiled bin binary so now it's compiling the binary compiling sketch as you can see and this will play it will place um, a bin file <clears throat> in your sketch folder so it's compiling it's done compiling so you should now have a bin file on your sketch folder so let's see here it is as you can see multi-protocol you know generic blah 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 so this is the file <clears throat> well you can rename this you can rename this file to just give it a, a shorter name uh, version number date whatever keep it keep the name um, keep the name uh, small it's better for you and give it a good a good name so you know which version you have and, and, and what not so now you you will I'm not going to show this but you will copy this file to your firmware folder in your radios on your radios SD card yeah you put this in the same folder where you put the files to update your radio okay the firmware folder in your radios SD card okay <clears throat> now I already copied this I copied the file to the radio so what we have to do we have to turn the radio on in maintenance mode let me put the phone down a bit so I can turn this without destroying the antenna because <clears throat> okay so to put the file the, the radio in maintenance mode we will need to turn the radio on with both horizontal tr trims away from each other away from the center of the radio the radio and the radio will enter maintenance mode I, I'm afraid of doing this because I don't want to damage the antenna or the connector so I'm going to put the phone down for a little bit and do it with both hands okay so now we have the radio in <coughs> maintenance mode well, we're going to select update multi so it's difficult to uh, to uh, to film and with one hand and look at the screen and, and uh, <laughs> work on the radio with the other one so <clears throat> we want to file type bin module in this case is the external module so it's the module bay com port will be por por com port 1 because it's what is connected to the module bay right Invert, invert COM port, I don't think it is necessary. So what we're going to do, we're going to click update. And now I'm going to uh, select the file that I previously, previously put here. Never mind the other files, it's just test files. Select the file that you compiled and copied to the SD card. Okay, click flash multi from multi SM to do for boot 
yeah that's what we want and we click long and it's flashing the STM32 module using ERSky9X on my 9X radio with AR9X board flash complete so the modules should now be flashing flashed and working what I'm going to do I'm going to turn the radio off and I'm going to turn it on and we will see if this is really flashed and working I got my little Chison CX10 and I think it's the model that I want make sure all right so let's see if this is working I'll turn the quad on when well, use the trainer and wow I think it flashed I think it's working because it, it bounced turn the throttle cut on and there you go STM32 Banggood module flashed using my own radio <laughs> Mike did it again didn't guys <laughs> Mike thanks a lot for this it's wonderful okay I hope you enjoyed the video and find it useful